you might be living in a property where you're not allowed to put up antennas on your roof. One possibility, especially if your house is only one story high, is to get up on the roof yourself and take your pedestrian mobile antennas. Then you'll be able to make contacts, almost as if you had a home station antenna. Now, got to think about safety first of all. If your roof is steeply pitched, then don't do it. If you're heavy, don't do it. If you have issues with balance and think you're likely to fall off or through the roof, then don't do it. But putting all that aside, if you can get on the roof and you can get up there safely, then it's a possibly good operating spot. I've got an FT817 pedestrian mobile antenna, often used when I'm on the beach. Just a wire, five metres tall, and that's an efficient half wave and a small antenna coupler, which is fixed on 28 megahertz. Of course, there's always VHF, UHF as well. If you've just got a handheld transceiver, then you'll be able to get into repeaters that you probably can't if you're just standing on the ground. So, lots of reasons to go rooftop portable if you can, and it's safe to do so. You also want the weather to be fine, not too hot though, with no or light winds. And a much better signal now. Juliet Oscar Hotel November uh, in Kalgoorlie, uh, Boulder. Um, it's a bit of a challenging um, uh, contact at the moment. We've also got uh, someone on the same frequency, I think, or, or just off, uh, uh, just bleeding through. But uh, see how we go anyway there, Peter. Uh, good to meet you, and back to you, uh, VK3YE, uh, vk 6 uh, great stuff there, Peter. I can tell you now, you're coming through quite a bit uh, stronger now. Uh, you were about 56, but you've uh, shot up through at nearly 59. Uh, five watts on the roof. Uh, that sounds like a, uh, a decent uh, system you're running there. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't want to be up on the roof at my place at the moment. It is absolutely persistently raining at the moment. Uh, very welcome uh, drop of rain. Uh, been a long time coming, and uh, uh, it makes a real nice change there. Uh, uh, I'll just try something first. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but the, the, the other 5 watts, uh, the BMW uh, is right there. So uh, uh, I did try with another guy earlier on there this morning, and uh, uh, he was getting nowhere. So uh, I'll just put it back on again, as I was probably not getting anywhere there. Uh, again, Peter, uh, great to meet you contact again, and uh, I'll say uh, 73 for the time being. Victor Kilo 3 to the Yankee Echo, Victor Kilo 6. CQ, CQ, CQ. Victor Kilo 3 Yankee Echo. VK 3YE Portable calling CQ and listening. Uh, VK4JU, VK4JU, VK3 Yankee Echo. Uh, all I got was four watts, four watts, four watts, and that I was five and three, that I was five and three. I'm five and three. Um, you are three by two, three by two, three by two. And uh, I'm just sitting on the roof of my house, just sitting on the roof of my house, also running QRP. Back to you, VK4JU, VK3 Yankee Echo. Uh, and um, I, uh, uh, my name is Mark. 
Now transmitting FT8 calling CQ on 28 megahertz. It's pretty boring as far as videos go, so not too much video of the FT8, but I'll give you a summary. Just looking at FT8 logs, contacted were AA6I, N6NC, and EA8TL in Canary Islands. So it's been a successful rooftop session. Let me know how you go in the comments if you decide to do it and the stations you contact. Enjoy these videos? Want to start in amateur radio? Well, check out my books, Ham Radio Get Started for USA readers and the Australian Ham Radio Handbook for those in Australia. For more information, visit my website, vk3ye.com or search their titles on Amazon.